Um, oh, I guess I should really rest. Wait, we can use this. This is... How long does this last? Oh, we should use that in combat. Yeah, like she's almost out of spells. We should definitely press it. I think he's got plenty of spells though. Does he? No, I guess we use a lot of his spells too. Well, here we go. <laughs> What is this? Wearing a robe, check. If I met symbol around the neck, check. Crazy eyes, check. Note to self, bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. The woman proceeds a crumbling piece of paper and a sleeve and takes notes. Everything is ready for the experiment. Okay. The woman turns to you. An audience, problematic but not critical. You there, girl. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific scientific progress. Uh, what? Who's that? I don't know her. Greetings, boy and girl, boys and girls. I am your sister in sin, a devotee of. Lord Baphomet's dark will, and so on and so forth. <laughs> Ninio. She looks like one of us, but she's kind of, <laughs> but talks kind of weird. Who's there with you? Who? Oh, them? Just an audience. They don't matter. Consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment. Uh, okay. In the name of our Lord Baphomet, please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. Let's start by something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favorite weapon? Uh, we will not answer you. Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all powerful. Wrong. He wields no weapon at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. Okay. These answers are wrong. The correct answer is as a call, a glaive made from the red adamantine. This experience has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never expect the followers of the great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. The woman frowns. Fine, let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. A bull, of course. Everybody knows that. Yep. And a cow. Oh, uh, it's an aurox, as a matter of fact. I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompt or two. It appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about who Baphomet really is let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or, his, or philosophy. I'm positive that this news will, ca will cause a sensation in, wide, in widest scientific circles. Damn it, she's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cultist. My mother used to tell me to become a plowman. <laughs> hey, take it easy. We've only had two questions. You there, come on, ask another one. We'll get the next one. Is there any sense in continuing? You cannot answer the simple of sub-questions. I am ashamed to all of you as cultists and as individuals. Please, ask again. I can answer. I sure I can. How do you spell Baphomet's name? <laughs> B-A-F-A. <laughs> Screw it. To hell with Baphomet. I thought it was going to be fun, but instead there's all these questions. I'm done here. I'm going back to home to my village. Back to my mother. <laughs> he just dips. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, you there. How do you stir up Discord not ranks? Grab her and tie her up. An entire and her entire entourage too. Whoa. Hold up, sir. Uh you might be messing with the wrong people. The experiment is complete. Unable to deal with the questions, the cultist decided to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any any intelligence. Now you're going to start hitting each other, aren't you? Please proceed. I won't interrupt. 
All right. So, yeah, we don't need that on the bar. Um, Greece. Yes, everybody but the archer. That's awesome. Can you move? Um, no, you're done. All right, you. Um, vulnerability curse, which can make enemies vulnerable to energy. Don't need to make them vulnerable to energy. Hmm. If you tag people like this, why are you trying to heal them? What? 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 I'm so confused. Does it really heal? Or is it just... Okay, it's just an icon's messed up or something. Tag bonus of two. Oh yeah, I forgot her blackened hand. She's like useless. <coughs> Except for spells, of course. Um, just, just stay back here, Amber. You I want you to help. Uh, is this a whole action? Standard action? I don't know. Oh no. Okay, it's not the the whole action. It's just the. So go here, and then you use it. All right, come up here. Cleave both. You, you should just hit the sharpshooter. Missed. I thought you threw, I thought you shoot two bows or two arrows. No, just one, okay. Uh, Sila, I want you to come over here. And... Oh, we can't really, I'll just attack. There we go. I really thought we'd be missing more. All right, we'll drift. You can do some burning hands here and oh, I thought we got that other guy too. Um, yeah, this healing icon throws me off every time. Holy shit, she hit four damage. Go, Ember. Hey. What the hell are you doing? You shouldn't be touching her. All right. Oh, so too close. All right. So can I hit him too? I want to hit him. Yeah. I'm really so. What is their. Uh... Yeah, I did have to. I only had a 50% chance to, to hit him, actually.
We're just getting lucky with rolls, really. But it boils down to you. Got him. All right. I don't want you to move up. You, we need to be careful. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Yeah, I want you to go around you know, this way. And go over here. Don't be see that. I wish there was a better outline of the actual. Because we didn't actually walk through the grease. Alright, Woodruff. You did good. We're going to walk over here. And. Attack. You. She hit again. Critical hit. Nice. Yeah, so they get a they get a AC bonus for being prone, that's what I thought. Get up. Alright, well uh, we will What was this the DC? Sixteen? No, we are not walking through there. I was thinking of walking through that and uh, trying to uh, get that sharpshooter. But I think we can just rely on land and get these other guys to walk around. Can you attack him? No. Great for a <laughs> Get a member. No, you getting up anytime soon? Roll a six. All that Dex is doing you no good. You should be able to hit. There we go. Hey, it's another one of these guys. The absence of an answer is an answer too. The other guy was telling me to ask a question, or what is the question? The result is statistically predictable, especially considering their intelligence level. What about you, Grill? Are you ready to answer some questions about uh, of the good science? Let's proceed with the experiment. My first question is simple. Which colors are the goddess of Iomade prefer? Are you absolutely convinced that the correct answer is red and white? The answer is correct. It is comforting to meet uh, at last an educated person in this melting pot of ignorance in the city today. Let's proceed. Did Aerodine take part in the crusade before he died. I don't fucking know. You don't know how to answer this question, but you bet you can guess. After all, you've only got two options. I don't even know who that is. No. Hey! We're rolling good. We're rolling good. Erdine's death uh, dates to 4606, and that is precisely the year when the uh, World Hound was open. The first crusade started in 4622. Your knowledge would make Mendes Crusaders proud. My final question is, what is the title that Arula Vorlash bears? Is she the architect of the world wound, the lord of the labyrinth, or the border acquisitor of the shapeless abyss. A 
Arelu Barlash. You don't know the answer, but you think the gods you're lucky enough to have only three options to choose from. What does her name sound like? Uh, the architect. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know how we just managed that one, but let's go. Let's go. That's correct. Most excellent. You successfully answered all of my questions. Splendid. Amazing. This is a breakthrough. This. Thank you for your cooperation. It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My name is Ninio. I'm an explorer, a pilgrim, and yet to be recognized scientific luminary, future author of the great Encyclopedia Gorl, what the hell? And rector of all Absens and universities at once. Future rector, I would say. Uh, I also know several spells. Now you can finally tell me where you're getting at all of these questions. It is so heartening to see you strive for knowledge. I have been conducting an experiment comparing the intellectual abilities of the average cultists with those of average crusaders. And I must admit that you passed this test with flying colors. This does offer a glimmer of hope for the future of the crusade. I have always claimed that, despite the popular beliefs that the limited intellectual abilities of those in the army, at least some of them can be considered educated. It pleases me to see that I was correct. Uh, don't call me girl. I apologize for an injury for your, to your ego, but your name is irrelevant on the grand scale of the universe. Thus, it cannot possibly interest me. I will forget it as soon as I hear it. To avoid unnecessary confusion, I prefer not to know it at all. All right, now you're just starting to be a stuck-up little bee. Uh, the city isn't safe now. Should we join forces? Do you wish to become my follower? to accompany me on my expedition to the world world wound, uh, to assist me in my experiments, to run errands for me, perhaps even to write down my deepest thoughts for the future better for the benefit of the future generations. Oh, how splendid. Of course I agree. <coughs> Truth be told, I have no money to pay you, but you'll be aiding the progress of science and that is its own reward. Uh, if we join forces, you'll have to follow my instructions during the expeditions. Uh, what? Oh yes, the dangers of these battles. Of course, I will follow your orders. Place my life in your capable hands, so I can focus on the things that really matter. Okay. Excellent, your high What? Hold on. We just... She's a little... Yeah. To think that I finally found someone to accompany me. 27 crusaders before you said no not one of them saw the undeniable people appeal of my offer your first assignment is to take me to a safe place i have to admit that today's experiment has left me quite tired so let's take her out put her in i have no idea what she she says she can cast some spells No, get out the grease. Damn it. Get out the grease. Come on. Out of the grease. All right. Oh, wait. Ember, get out of the grease. Don't fall. All right. Fucking grease spell, man. It's the worst. It's the best and the worst. All right, let's start with our paladin. Let's channel and another smite. We're gonna go all the way in case of charisma. And we want persuasion. Sure, let's do that. We're not doing mobility anymore. I think she gets a mount too, or a an animal companion, but I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do any mounted, which uh, 
when you're mounted you, you can do mobility checks to reduce damage to your companion I think it is uh, let's that's not even worth it um, persuasion religion Mm. And nature. Well, let's give her one magic device just so she can do it. Well, if she has, if oh, she's not gonna have, yeah, let's just do nature. Yeah, we get our positives. We get some more spells. Nice. Let me get some cure, divine favor. Um. Us. We're staying armature, and we're gonna go strength. Get that BP attack bonus. Obviously, we're only using the first one because we're using cleave, so we're only getting one attack or our main attack. And then we we'll hit them. And if we hit them, we can hit the next one. And we want persuasion, obviously, because of our uh, we are the the face. Might as well keep this. Oh, yeah, it's not even worth it to give her one of those. Let's just go world and then we'll keep athletics going, I guess. Characters have the ability of leaping, so the athletics enables you to catch objects when you jump. jump. Okay. Um, and then here we're going to do... <coughs> we're going to take Dazzling Display right now, only because... Our next level should probably take weapon special. No, that's just for damage rolls, not for attack. Um, but we want shatter, shatter defenses. Oh, I guess we need a battle of six. We're at four. We'll get battle of six at level six. So we can wait one level. We'll take. We can take dazzling display next level. And then Shattered Avengers at six, because we're gonna have our Paladin just be a dazzling display, just so they can she can uh, stand up there, take hits, and dazzle. Uh, clearing finish and make a melee attack with your turn it drops to zero. I want to get Greater Cleave here. A standard action you can make a single attack at your full base attack bonus against a foe within reach if you hit you deal damage normally and can make an additional attack uh, against a foe that is adjacent to the previous foe uh, if you hit you can continue to make attacks that's what I want I want to be able to bam hit bam hit bam hit bam hit right now we can only do it once and cleaving finish you can only do it once you can make only one extra attack per round with this feat. And then there is improved cleaving finish and stuff, which will increase that. But right now we want to be able to uh, do as many hits as we can because we're only getting the one big hit. So when we look at it, uh, see we're, we're only getting the, the, the plus nine there. And I don't think we have to turn it on. I think as long as Cleave's on, it's on. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's do land. Because land, I want to do, I want to go into fighter. So, uh, 
we got him here and then the big thing is right now he's using his wisdom for his attack roll and I was thinking of maybe doing rogue for sneak attacks which probably would still be good but I want to go the fighter route and we're just doing base fighter and then wisdom I don't know why these are so 19 because when you go to his seventeen base value fifteen and mongrel two. It's adding something in there that it shouldn't be, I don't think. I think what is it? Yeah, it's given the racial twice, but it's not really there. But I want to do Wisdom brings up that perception and more religion, like I said, was important. So, perception, and then he's been our athletics person. But we're going to put this up just in case we need people to help. Might just leave it there, honestly, just to have that one for resting. But we're always going to keep perception. And then he will go into rapid shot this time. Yeah, I think it's rapid shot this time, and then I think we can get mini shot next time. Um, yeah. Well, it's six level, but we'll take rapid shot now. All your attacks can take negative two penalty, but make a full attack at range up. You fire one additional time this round at your highest bonus. I don't know. Does it show it here? It does, yeah. So seven and seven. This is still pretty good. I mean, we have a nine. So he's taking a uh, minus four penalty. But like I said, that wisdom, that's good. All right. Ember, what are we going to do with you? Stigmatized witch. I think we should just keep you going as is. You're going to learn another hex. We're going to learn a hex. And your charisma. I'm not really sure what persuasion is doing for her, but there and there. All right, so what hex? Touch a creature, which chooses one of the following conditions. So she's got to touch him. Each time she uses this hex, okay. The target is inflicted with the chosen condition and that condition. Is, well, we don't want to use this. We don't want her touching anybody. Diseases, diseases, inhaled poisons, and noxious uh, gaseous effects are negated in a 10 foot aura around the witch for a number of minutes equal to her level. This duration does not need to be consecutive. It must be spent in one minute increments. Effects caused by spells whose level is more than half of the witch's class level are unaffected. Effects caused by spells whose level is more than half of the witch's class level. So if they're the same level as us, it doesn't even matter. We're still going to get. That seems shitty. And Kakamali has a move action. Any creature that is within 30 feet that is under the effects of Evil Eye, Hex, Fortune Hex, Protective Luck, or Misfortune Hex, and cause the Witch Duration. Okay. 
target takes a negative two in the following, which is choice AC, ability checks, tackle, saving throws, or skill checks. This hex lasts for a number of rounds equal to three plus the witch's intelligence. Oh, I thought she was charisma based. What's her, her intelligence sucks. Uh, maybe it's just the Her body is tarnished with the mark of ill fate and departure. Uh, stigmatized, which relies on intuition. Her magic is not based on the shock. Okay, so it's just because of that. But we don't want that. Grant a creature within 30 feet a bit of luck for one round. The target can call upon this good luck, allowing him to re roll an ability check, attack roll, saving throw, skill check, taking the best roll at 8th level and 16th level. The duration of the hex extends by one round. This creature has benefit from this fortune hex, it cannot benefit from it again for 24 hours. So we can put it on multiple people. Hmm. Oh, but it only lasts one round. Realize waste a minute uses them to hash a level once they control the man it has. Um which can cause a creature within 30 feet to suffer a grave misfortune. Anytime the creature makes an ability check, attack rolls in the land, must roll twice to take the worst result. We'll say in the case of Hex. Long char, protective lug, can cause fate to twist and benefits a creature within 30, foot, 30 feet for one round. Whenever that creature. <coughs> Uh, that it benefits a creature. Okay, so one for one round. Whenever the creature is targeted by an effect that requires an attack roll, including weapon attacks, the attacker must roll twice and take the worst result. So we might take that. Where did creature receives plus two and plus two? Oh, wait. Sword lasts until the awarded creature is hit or fails a saving throw. A witch knows when a awarded creature is no longer protected. A witch can have only one ward active at a time. If the witch uses ability again, the previous ward immediately ends. The witch cannot use this ability on herself. At 8th and 16th, um, the bonus is increased by 1. Let's go with healing for now. Oh no, this is... Which cannot use this ability on herself. Hex that affect fortune hex. This cat could also affect protective luck. Now let's just give her the healing one for now. I mean, we get a bunch of them. And, uh... Now, I'd really like this one right now too though. You can only use this once per person for 24 hours. Hmm. It's only one hit. Well, if you actually get hit. Let's just use healing for now. All right. So we got scare. Uh, the creature is instead shaken for one round. Reflect the pain, itching, rash, and the target creature. The target is sick and it takes a minus four penalty to dex, fortitude, save, or negates. Close range. A weaken the target's defenses. Again, it's poison. The target gains a minus four. No, we don't want that. 
old person, glitter dust. False life. No. Bone shaker. We could do blind forty forty two. Uh, you take control of a living skeleton, 42 halves. Let's just take Bone Shaker. Alright, girl. You got some healing now. And. Uh, and let's see what's going on with you. Scroll Savant. So wizard. Yeah. Specialist school. Well, what's your specialist school? Uh... What oppositions? Oh, come on. I really would have liked it. Because now she's going to have any protective spells and stuff. It's going to take two slots up because it's an opposition. Necromancy is fine, whatever. But what specialist school is she? Select one cantrip from the wizard list and get it as a spell like ability at will. Scroll focus. Is it here? Scribe scrolls. Oh, here we go. It's evocation. And illusion. Hmm. So okay, that's good. Illusion. All right. So illusion is actually her specialist. The standard action you can fire is Shimmy Ray at any foe within 30 feet as a ranged touch attack. But, I mean, she does have dex. Fire Shimmy Ray, yeah, we heard that one. Create pit. I want it. it's a less less conjuration. It's not even one of her. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna keep her. She gets like nothing. Intelligence. Yeah. So, want that, these two, and then we want to keep her magic, use magic device going up. What does, what scrolls does she, does she have any scrolls on her? No. Is there scrolls here that she can learn? Probably. If 
Party hands, yes. Nope. Nope. Just a touch, snowball, no. It makes his own. Nope. No, whoops. No. Move sickness, no. Cure light wounds, no. Not divine fear, no. You know, you already know it. You know it. Oh, no. No. Nope. No. No. Yes. Okay. And now let's do this again. So keep her here. Intelligence. Doing that. And I think scribing scrolls is more nature. Yeah, that's fine. So illusion spells, okay. Personal blur, yes. She has create pit. <laughs> uh a depth of 10 feet per two castle since the pit extends to another dimension. The pit has no weight and does not allow you to create the in the darkness. So not allow any large or small creatures standing in the area you find conjuration in the pit must make a reflex save to jump to safety. Okay. Should we give invisibility? She's also in evocation. So I'd like to. Multiples to one. AoE with a reflex save on splash, da splash damage. Burning arc as the reflex has. Each will, which must be within 15 feet of the primary target. So it's like a two person. Which one do I want to do right now? Let's do let's do burning arc. So first level spells. Um, let's do exposure she I like. Let's give her a large person for that. And I don't want her to get that close. I 
the touch range. Let's do Should we just give her another magic missile? Yeah, let's just give her another magic missile, whatever. And here, blur. And then... Plus 40 constitution, we're not going to use that. We'll keep one of these. It might be useful at some point, and then we'll take in the burning arcs. Is anybody else? You don't have spells. You finally have one. What are we going to do with you? You need to friggin live. Call upon your strength and wisdom and the EDU plus one luck to attack and weapon damage. Hmm. Fire resistance. Let's do sacred bonus to AC. 10 minutes per level. Uh, you can dismiss this spell as a swift action to deal 1d8 points of damage plus 1 point per paladin alone. Let's do that. Okay. You got your stuff. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have anything. And we got you set up. Awesome. Uh, let's fix our, we want to go there, and let's fix our stuff here now. So, like this, and Ember. I mean, you three, I wonder, They don't really need to be that far back. It's when the fight starts. She's not on there, but we still have the... Maybe it's just a graphic. It's when the fight starts. Uh, She's gonna run in anyway, and they, they and then they will be left here. All right, what you guys have? Cheat. That's pretty cheesy. Pretty cheesy, if you ask me. Hey, some master work. Oh yeah, Get some money. Money. And that's it. Box. Thanks for that. Invisible loop. Oh, what's this? We didn't see that. Perception check failed. Hold up. No. So yeah, the perception, it must just keep checking and checking. Right? We had different people. No, see, Willow kept Willow and Wolja check twice. Alright. I think that's everywhere. Yeah, we can't go over here. Alright. save and then run to the bathroom and we'll run back 